best to try to capture the best I can on this audio. Um, so I want to go over a new car that I got to my left and I got rid of my my uh, my Ram. If you guys have seen the channel or been following me for a while, you guys know that I went from a Dodge Challenger to a Ram. Well, now I have this 2021 Mustang GT. Um, brand new off the showroom. Got this car about five days ago in this video, maybe seven, depending on when I edit and upload. Uh, this is fully stock, obviously, right? It's brand new. Um, the car we bought it when it was 16 miles. I've already put in about 80 some miles into the car, so we'll go over, you know, the interior real quick. Um, you know, the back space. We'll also go over the, you know, the features that it has. Uh, this is a base model, um, Mustang GT. With minor upgrades, I'll also share the the window sticker with it that came with it, so you can see what kind of upgrades it has. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's start with the back. So these Ford 2018s, well actually 2016, I think actually has the same back. I mean, it's been slightly modified, right, uh, throughout the years, but I think it looks very aggressive, uh, very simple, very clean. Um, you know, there's some things that I'm going to change on it. Like the spoiler in the rear and stuff like that but overall it's very clean you have these chromed muffler tips um obviously made by ford then you come to the side of, um gt base model rims that you get on on, on these mustangs um the premium does come with, with 20 inch wheels i opted out those of those because i feel it looks too big if we come to the passenger side, you know, Ford, I think all Mustangs, including the, the six models, have these, um, I guess plastic, but it this lights up, which I think is pretty cool. It lights up to uh, to whatever color you, you set your interior to. Mine is red, so you have lights underneath the passenger side um, footrest, and then you have some on the, the driver's side. You know, I think you can probably see some of the red here. So you have red here. The Mustang lights up red. I'll try to get some night shots as well in this video so you can, can see how it looks at night. Um, very nice car, actually. Very, very comfortable to say. Compared to the Challenger, obviously the Challenger had a lot more space, more room. Uh, but I'm very, very pleased with this car. I'm very happy to have it. I have some good ideas for the car that I want to you know obviously do and um yeah i mean hopefully you guys can follow this build and support the channel and you know see what what it was from there but there is some things that i'm gonna start doing to the car if you go to the front you know you have this very aggressive uh, style front of the, of the mustang i like the way it looks from the front to be honest i like this the way that the uh the headlights curve in versus a regular 16 model where they were just flat um i do have a key on me so let me Unlock the car, so you can see the lights. The LED lights in the front, I think, looks very, very cool. The ambers on the bottom. This car does have fog lights. I don't know if all GT's base model have fog lights, but this one does. And then you have a nice grill in the front. I know this all enters where you can put lights on little triangles. That's still an option that I might look that I might look into. Um, but I'm not very much when it comes to stuff, stuff like that because I think it looks very, very. Um, I guess overdone. I'm, I'm trying to look for a more like a stealth base look. So yeah, so, so the wheels are, are definitely going to be gone. Tires as well. The rear, this is going to get removed. Um, some lowering springs probably for like an inch and a half, half an inch depending. I just wanted it to sit flush with no wheel gap. Uh, and probably a front splitter. Probably add a front splitter to it. So walk to the driver's side. A little windy, so let's go inside real quick. So now we are inside the inside the car. I'm gonna close that door so it can give some better audio. We are inside the, the car. The first thing you notice is that there is a Mustang logo here. This looks very, very clean, very flush. I like the way that the uh, the air inlets come out. The premium does uh, delete, I believe, two of these. I think it's these two or these two. 
and it gives you uh, some gauges. Um, you go to the dash, obviously you have your regular speedometer, your revs, the middle, the middle lights up, depending on your gears. You know, you have your paddle shifters here, which I haven't tried yet because I'm still breaking the car in. You have your volume controls, you have your menu controls, you have your phone and cruise control controls on the side. Very compact, very easy to, to get to if you're you know, you're driving, you can, you can easily maneuver as you're driving. You you know, you have your wipers here, you have your indicators on this side, you know, you can still like grip it and still be able to maneuver. You have your your lighting, your automatic lights, you have your amber lights, your fog lights. Here you do have the rear mirror, gives you a good view from the back. Go to the back seats, you don't have much um leg room compared to the challenger but i mean it's it's okay you know half of the time nobody's gonna be sitting in the back anyways so we do have on this particular model we do have an upgraded screen i believe this is the the seven by six by seven i believe i'm not, not too sure on the size but the base base model doesn't have this big screen it has a smaller screen uh, so this one does have the, the dual climate you have your modes on here your your driving mode, your 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 steering mode, obviously your traction control, and then your um, your emergency hazards. Um, you have to have your tune, your volume, your you know your your basic basic um, controls there. So let's do a. This car has already been driven, so it's it's a warm start. Uh, we'll do the interior and then and then exterior start, so you can hear it from both ends. Um, I'll go over real quick of the features. You know what options it has you know you have a nice mustang that, that appears which is pretty cool let me turn this off before the um copyrights come in um so you know you you have your, your regular stereo you have your am fm let's see sorry source you have your am fm series xm and then you have your iphone if you're connected to it um very simple controls you have your climbing control here See if that gives you a better angle there. So you have your audio, you know, your climbing control, you have your phone. You can, you know, that's very basic. I think all cars mainly have that. Applications, you know, your four pass. This allows you to, to turn the car on from from your phone. Turn your lights on, unlock it. Pretty cool feature. You have your settings. You know, you can go on there to do your sound, your clock, your phone. You know your general settings you know automatic updates display you know different different features that you can do um, mine's very basic so I, I kept it simple this is the night mode that's why it looks blue you do daytime I think it looks white if you jump into the dash you know your dash your dash lights up 160 on the dash you, you can see the miles there 133.7 your RPMs to the left. When you go to into the gauge cluster, you go your menu. Let me go back a little bit. So as soon as you start the car up, it gives you the gauge mode. You click on that, it gives you different options that you can monitor as you're as you're driving. You know, you can do your your miles, your speedometer, you can do your tire pressure, you can do you know, different different functions. I can get into these on a separate video if you guys want me to. Uh, which is pretty cool if, if you're going to a racetrack and stuff like that. You have your trip, fuel, you have your driver assist, you know, this takes off blind spots, everything like that. Uh, you have your settings, which you can customize your vehicles. Um, locking, lighting, you know, your gauge, your gauge colors and all that stuff. My key, you know, it gives you the status of the key. Display setup, it gives you distance, temperature, tire pressure, you know. The very basic stuff I can go in detail regarding that um, steering wheel again this is what it, what it looks like you have your shifter here pretty you know it's small it's very easy to grab you have your e-brake on this side um, let's go ahead and go to the back and give you a couple revs um, not too sure how it's gonna come out but let's go ahead and start and get that started
So Windows sticker, this is what it looks like. You have your basic basic stuff um, included on this vehicle. This this is extra stuff. So if you look at the price, this car straight from the manufacturer comes out at thirty six two eight five. Total options of three thousand nine hundred uh, three thousand seven hundred ninety five, which is basically the options here, such as let me go over them real quick with you. Uh, you have dual zone, you know, temperature, which is what, which is the middle cluster of the car. Series XM for I think, but Series XM for three months, I guess. Um, apparently, that's an option. So that's uh, two grand right, right there. Two hundred. Uh, you have your automatic transmission. Uh, you have the the tires that it has, which is the P two thirty five fifties R eighteen. So I think it's all season tires. Um, you have the raised blade deck spoiler, which is the the rear spoiler in the back. The front license plate bracket, which I don't know, I don't know why they include that. All which is no charge. Um, you have your three point fifteen ratio non slip actual, which is no charge. I think this is basically the way it comes from the factory. So total price comes out to forty one two seven five. Um, you know, you can get into your, your gas prices here. I won't get into it, but I'll show you a quick uh, screenshot. Um, so that's basically what you get for a basically entry level GT. Um, I want to, I, I say this is an entry level because it's basically, it doesn't have much difference of a, this, this GT to one that just has the small screen. Um, next couple of weeks, months, you know, we're going to start off with the basics and see how much power we, we can put down. Uh, quarter intake exhaust um tires probably gonna change the tires out uh wheels you know we'll do some some basic stuff and see if we see any increase in horsepower i do want to take it to the track to see just to get some base numbers apparently this car can run 11 i think 11.6 on a quarter mile not too sure um but i, I want to test that theory out as well and just kind of build it you know i got this channel because i mean this car because I, I started the channel with with a sports car and I want to continue that run so if you guys like the car you guys want to see the bill you guys want to see what it comes out to be um, you guys want to just support the channel I would greatly appreciate if you guys subscribe you guys like um, you know leave, leave a comment leave your thoughts on the car so you give me some some opinions on what kind of upgrades I should do to the car what other things you want to see done to the car itself and I'll, you know, I'll, I'll consider them and if it's within my, my budget, I'll, I'll do them for sure. I do want to add some content to, to the channel, um, basically on the on the build, man. So, again, if you guys are a Mustang fan, if you guys want to see the build from ground up, this is basically ground up. I'm going from nothing to hopefully something something great. It's already, it's already nice as it is, so I just want to do some stuff to the car. If you guys want to keep up with it, subscribe, like and turn on notifications until the next one guys.